what's in my bag 2024 edition hey guys it's the beginning of the new year and yonix just sent me their newest pro tournament bag here you guys have been frequently asking to see what's in my badminton bag so today i'm going to show you guys the goods let's get it if you're new to the channel my name is howard it's been a crazy busy year with the paris 2024 olympic qualification but i have a few more days home before i'm off again so i wanted to show you guys what i've been carrying with me in my badminton bag The first thing that I have in this front compartment is shuttles. I have a tube of the AeroClear 30s, which are great for drills and training, but I also have a tube of AS50s, which I sometimes use for match play before tournaments, especially if I know that they're gonna be the shuttles supplied in competition. Then of course is my rackets. I usually carry anywhere between six to eight rackets with fresh springs because you never know when you're gonna break a string or even the racket. I mostly have ArcSaber 11s and 11 Pros in here because I'm slowly trying to make the switch over to the Pro. In the same racket compartment, I also have my heavy racket. This one right here is the Yonex TR0, which is a little bit heavier than the TR1, but both are great options if you're looking for a heavy racket. There's also these two little mesh compartments here where I keep some of my racket accessories. We have some towel grips here. These are the Yonex AC402s. These also come in the big rolls, but I do keep a couple single packs with me at all times. To go with the towel grip, I have Yonex's AC470 grip powder. If you play towel grip and your hands tend to sweat more, or if you just want some extra grip, then you already know that these are a must have. Next, I have some scissors. These are some compact scissors that actually fold and they're supposed to be TSA approved for carry on luggages. So I don't have to worry about taking them in and out of my bag for flights. And they're super useful for cutting anything like strings or grip. I also have some strings in here. Currently I'm playing the Yonex Aerobite in red and white. Usually they're string service at big Yonex events, but you never know. I've been to some smaller tournaments where there's no string service or if it's not a Yonex sponsored event or where they even run out of Aerobite. That's when these single packs are great to keep on hand just in case. Now moving on to the main compartment. Badminton shoes. These are the Yonex Comfort Z3s and I keep them in this separate shoe bag. This is my current favorite shoe that's out right now. Amazing shoe with the perfect balance between support and comfort. And I have a full review for these if you guys wanna check that out. Next, I have a foam roller. Out of all the foam rollers that I own, this is my favorite travel foam roller. It's super compact, so it's great for travel compared to a regular size foam roller, and it doesn't take up too much space in my bag. I especially like how it's hollow in the middle. I can just stuff a jersey or some socks inside when I'm packing to maximize even more space within my bag. I have a softball, which I use as another recovery tool for more targeted trigger point release that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get from my foam roller. I have a water bottle. This is also a shaker bottle if I ever need to make a protein shake or add any powders to my water. I also have some toiletries, which were actually a gift from a friend. They're travel sized and just the essentials for showering after training, some shampoo, body wash, conditioner, lotion, and deodorant, of course. Next, I have some extra clothes. I always keep a few extra game shirts to change into after training. I have a medium sized towel for wiping sweat or if I wanted to take a shower as well after training. And I have a tripod in here. This is a collapsible tripod, which I use for my iPhone when I want to record my matches. It extends pretty tall and the clamp can flip so you can record either in vertical or horizontal. Now moving on to the accessory compartment in the front. I have a few different types of tape in here. I have white tape, Luco tape, and rock tape. The rock tape is more of a stretchy Canacio type tape. Then I use the beige color, which has no logos because at tournaments, you're not allowed to have any logos on tape that's showing on your body. Then I have white athletic tape and also Luco tape, which is the most rigid out of the three, just in case I really need to lock down an injured area. I have some exercise bands and jump rope. Here's a few smaller bands with different resistances, which I use for various exercises like hip or glute activation. I also have a longer band, which I use for more upper body, arms, back or shoulder exercises. And this is just a normal speed jump rope. 
I use all of these quite frequently for different types of activation work, pre and post training exercises. Lately, I've been using energy gels before my matches. There's a lot of different brands out there and I've tried quite a few of them now, but I found that I really do like the taste of these Huma gels. But more importantly, the chia seed base just settles well in my stomach. So I've stuck with these and I'm quite happy with how they help me with sustained energy on the court. The strawberry and the mango are my favorite, but sometimes I do take the lemonade ones because they do pack a little bit of caffeine. Well, that's all that I keep in my bag. I try not to lug around too much stuff and I'll leave some links below for some of the things if you guys are interested, but let me know down in the comments what the one must have item is in your bag that I'm missing and maybe I'll add that to my daily carry. That's all that I have for you guys today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, turn on your notifications for me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.